hello welcome and welcome back to the channel how are you guys doing um praying and hoping that everything is going well for you um today is monday october the 2nd can you believe that october the 2nd you guys Whew. okay so we're in fall season fall 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 this is going to be a quick quick video just showing you guys our weekly activity this week um signs section our math and literacy um activities and all that good stuff you know um if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you happen to run across the video go ahead and hit the subscribe button you won't be disappointed um hit the like button share the video comment without further ado let's get into this video <music> Okay, you guys, so what I'm doing is working on our leaf project. Um, this will be a art project. So we usually have two art projects um, within a week. I actually, um, in the past, had just one art, one art project, and that was on Wednesday. But um, since we're doing our alphabet books, you know, it's taking up a lot of time. So uh, we do our alphabet books, which... <coughs> I'm sorry, alphabet books, which is on Tuesday, uh, tomorrow, um, our phonics. So, um, this is what I'm just working on my little model and they can use, I printed out the leaf and what we're going to do when it dries, um, I'm going to cut it out, you know, and put it in their portfolios, the art portfolio. So I'm, I'm going to put out some, you know, um, glue sticks. I have to sometimes slow down because I be talking too fast and all that good stuff. So I got strips and these strips, when I cut out like construction paper or what have you, you know, I, I and I have a little leftover, I put it in the bags. So I have orange, they can pick orange, green or brown or yellow. So I'm doing brown. That's the first thing came up. I, I came up uh, that I pulled out actually. They, they're actually turn it, fine motor skills. Awesome, fun, fine motor skills for them. I'd rather for them to actually cut it. Uh, um, I'd rather for them to actually uh, tear it than cut it because I want them to build their strength and their muscles in their hands. So, and the thing is, I want them to actually fill it all up. Yeah. And when they put it on there, Hold on, because I'm doing observations too. It's, you know, this is my observation month. Got to send it to the parents, uh, get it out actually by the end of this month. So when I put it on there, I don't want them to just put it on there like that. I want them to press it, press down. I encourage them to press, 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 using those muscles and the hands and just fill it up. And I'm using glue. But I'm gonna let them use the glue sticks. The little ones, I might, you know, use some glue and they can just press it on here. And if they can't fill it all the way up, at least, you know, try to get enough, you know, filled up, cover that white spot. So, okay, so that's the best that I can do, yeah. And like I said, when this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, <clears throat> cut it out. Put a little more right here, up in there. And like I said, they can tear it. Um, and they can tear paper. And it's fun to tear the paper so that they, they don't have to worry about getting in trouble for tearing their paper up. Huh. Yeah. And I always put my name on here. And I'm just going to put it right here for now. But theirs, before actually, while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna put their names on the back of the leaf. So when I do cut it out, I can remember who's, which is, um, which ones. I can remember the ones. We have, also have some fun, uh, some fun uh, trace the lines activities that they can take home. We don't usually do a lot of, you know, paperwork, but, um, I just, you know, throw this in every now and then and they can take it home because, hold on. 
because I know the parents like to see some stuff come home every now and then because um, the portfolios and their um, ABC books I keep until the end of the curriculum that's like next year, you know, before the summer starts. So um, every now and then I send them home with something, you know, um, and put the little sticker on there and and all that good stuff. Let me keep going. Okay, so we're working on the number five and I printed out um, a oval, oval shapes. And um, they're going to just put it on the construction paper. I'm going to cut this out. And they're going to glue this to the purple construction paper. Um, and put five ovals wherever they want to, you know, on it. And they can color it in purple. Um, coloring. So here's our journals. We will be actually doing this tomorrow. We got to double up because we didn't get a chance to do it today. So journals, um, our journal um, activity today is, I mean, tomorrow actually, supposed to be Monday, Monday journals. I actually do a model for everything so they can look at it. I put it on the table. They can see how it's done and I'll help them through it if they need help. So it's just um, a, a number graph. Got everybody's ready. Okay, and this is our letter E, the elephant, and earth, lowercase e, <clears throat> the number five, the oval, and the leaves, what else? Of course, the fall activities. Uh, map the litter. I did the live and I showed you guys that. And if I don't, if I don't actually put out stuff, I'll forget it. That's why I have my little tray right here on my printer. And this is for everything that we have to do for, um, the week. Everything. Because if I don't put it out, I'll forget it. Oh, let me show you too. So what I do, hold on. What I do with the craft. When it's a lot of lot of uh, pieces to go to it for our alphabet craft, I love the baggies. You guys know that I love the baggies. So uh, what I do is I cut out each individual um, items and stick it in here. So this is the lowercase and the uppercase as well, and I put it in there. So I won't have to be fumbling through it. So when I call each kid up to the table, um, the ones who need help. You know, I uh, give them a baggie. They just go through it and do the crafts. So I got five kids in care, and I did five. And for the elephant, uh, where's the elephant? This right here, it had um, the eyeballs. Let me show y'all. I'm like, I'm not gonna do none of that. I, <laughs> some of the, some of the items, I just you know, uh, less stress. I just add to it you know so this is the eyeballs for the elephant and i just put my little eyeballs on there stuck it on there instead of cutting out all that stuff got my eyeballs ready here these are the dots i keep out so i won't forget and this is some more um um the 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 paper that i showed you guys was the what do you call that the regular paper they can you know take home but this is i laminate this and they can use um dry erase markers and i have <coughs> that's much better so i have the uh dry erase <coughs> Container. They have that little mini erasers they got off of Amazon, and they have all have all the dry erase markers in here, so they can just you know trace it and erase it. That's another activity that um. Uh, I don't know how they get sticky. That one was kind of sticky. I don't know why. There 
There we go. Thought I had messed it up. But I got three of these. The leaf activity. So A, and then they find the letter that say for instance, this is A, and they just stick it on here, match it up. So I'm gonna put these in like maybe a container and they find it. Yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna do. I was trying to figure out how I was gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in a container and they just go through it and find the letters. This is the pumpkin uh, letters and I just put it on Velcro and they just match it up. And so what I'm gonna do is pull these out and put them in my little um, basket and they can, you know, whoever's doing this activity, they can just pull the letters out the basket and match it up. I don't put it, put all of these out, you know, it'll be stuff everywhere. So two activities from the math and Liter literacy center, I'll take out two. So this is the letters, I mean the uh, words. And what I have is the, um, letters, magnet letters, and they just match them up. The numbers and the manipulatives. I had some, I think I got pumpkin, some more pumpkin mini erasers. Um, I'm gonna find out what I'm gonna use, or some um, seeds, the pumpkin seeds as well. Okay, so these are the number tracers, they can trace the numbers. <clears throat> the bigger kids, <laughs> my three-year-olds. And um, they fill in the numbers, the missing numbers. Since they can't really, really write, my three-year-olds, um, they can use the uh, number. <clears throat> so I just put the numbers out there in a basket, a little basket, and they go, cause I couldn't find three right away. So one, two, three, four, and then they put number five on there. Okay, so this is the science uh, area, our science area. Matter of fact, I gotta get the weight, uh, the weight thing, hold on. Okay, so they're going to be measuring the trees, um, the tree limbs, that's what I'm gonna have them do, the tree limbs. And I just, I got some little bears. And then we're also going to be um, weighing, and I have paper for them to dock it. Uh, document that and then this is our all about leaves book leaves and trees sorting so and sort the uh, leaves as well um, this is the all about um, leaves and trees just a, uh, <clears throat> a visual Free for all season. I have this in here, but I'm gonna put it in the orange container. So I'm still working on this. This is our Play-Doh tray. I gotta go outside and get some tree, um, little tree sticks, the little sticks, cause I don't have time to order it from Amazon. Hold on. So what I'm gonna start off with is orange and yellow and um, the cook the little um, leaves, uh, leaf cookie cutters. And I got these from the dollar store. I put out a couple of those. And I'm gonna get um, the tree sticks. And there's something else I'm supposed to be putting in here too. I'll figure it out. Uh, this is our counting stew. And I just dyed some rice. This was last two years ago. I just got the rice. That's on my pumpkin. Oh. Got my, my leaves and my pumpkins. Did I put all of them in there? Oh. I'm gonna have to pull off some of this. I 
because I won't have time to um, order none. But anyways, so this is the fall stew actually. And I have corn. And it's different um, um, counting uh, cards. I just put that stuff that in there for now. Got the uh, sunflowers, the corn. Um, of course, the erasers. I got a tin. <clears throat> and some of the cards come with uh, apples. It asks for so many apples. And I got a little container. I want to just play in it. Got the tweezers. I want to pick it up. And all that good stuff. So, yeah. That's the, um fall stew that I got and bam I decided to put I know I, I don't know if uh, whoever was on live you'll know what I'm talking about but I decided to go ahead and put that over there instead of um, over here uh, because this is where eventually all my pumpkin stuff is going because like I said I'm taking I'm, I'm turning all that into a little mini pumpkin patch okay and uh yeah <laughs> so i'm like okay that turned out good Let's scoot that back a little bit and i just taped it on the wall and um use the pin push pins i put it up in the wall turned out beautiful now the flowers right there on the table i'm gonna take it off for now i wish i could find some orange ones let me know down in the comment comment down below and let me know if i should take that off and just you know leave the table blank um but yeah that's the backdrop the pumpkin fall backdrop and then i got all the little hanging things up yeah not much but it's ours be proud of what you got, y'all. And I am proud of what I got. <laughs> you be super proud of what you have. Yes, yes, yes. You got something. And make the best out of it. So, yeah. So, that is it for now, you guys. Of course, I will do something else. Uh, another vlog this week. Um, take pictures. And on my community page, um, I, you know, post a lot of pictures on there too. And, you know, chat or what have you, chat back, you know. And um, if you got some ideas for me, I'm welcome to all of it, you know. Um, but, yeah, that's what we're doing this week. Our all about leaves and trees blended in with the little fall, okay. So, yeah. Y'all stay tuned. You have a blessed, blessed night. And remember, as always, stay safe out there.